Welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. I have a quick example here on how to subtract two functions. And for this, I've borrowed two functions, f and g. So you can see that f is 4x squared plus 2x, and g is a 3x minus 5. All right? So the notation for subtracting functions looks a little bit like this. All right? And basically what this says is to take f and subtract g and use an input of x. Now, sometimes you look at that notation and it actually looks like you might be trying to multiply by x, but of course that is not what it means. In fact, if it helps your memory out just a little bit, you can use the alternate notation to see the subtraction. So the alternate notation looks like this. And now we can see that it says, oh yeah, take f, that function, and subtract g, that function. Well, good. That's exactly what we want to do. Okay? So I'm going to take the expressions for f and g and substitute them into this alternate form and see how that works. Okay? So let's take the 4x squared plus 2x and put that in for f. All right, I like it. Now we'll take the 3x minus 5 and we'll put that in for g. Now be careful. You want to subtract the entire function of g. If you just put a negative sign, then it's like you've only subtracted the 3x. And, you know, we want all of it subtracted. So make sure you put a set of parentheses around that second function when you're subtracting. This will help you to uh, distribute the negative sign. All right, things look good. All right, so go ahead and check this. Make sure that if you can simplify, you go ahead and you do so. And I notice that I have an x over here, an x over here. I might be able to combine these. But first, I better distribute. So with my parentheses on there, I can see that this negative sign distributes to both of my terms. So now I have 4x squared plus a 2x minus 3x and plus 5. Hey, now look at that. 2x minus 3x, those will combine. I'll have a minus x plus 5. So this expression down here now represents my new function where f and well where I have f minus g. And there you go. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.